वेलकम टू स्नेहाट्स दिस स्नेहा स्टूडियोज दिस इज एन इनिशिएटिव बाय स्नेहाट्स एज ऑल ऑफ यू आर अवेयर एंड डॉक्टर स्नेहलता प्रसाद इज द आर्ट कलेक्टर एंड शी इज अ पर्सनली एन आर्टिस्ट हर सेल्फ एंड स्कल्प्टर सो टुडे वी हैव एमिनेंट आर्टिस्ट द नाड योगा टीचर ही इज आल्सो इन टू मेडिटेशन एंड साउंड हीलिंग Uh, he is also founded an organization which is into sound healing so let's talk more about that so uh, mr akilanka thanks a lot for joining us on this particular show uh, it's an honor having you here thank you thank you very much sir uh, you you've been uh, doing this particular organization called uh, temple of singing bowls and uh, before we get into that uh, we would love to know uh, more about you and you know how you've been you know doing all this when did you start your journey with respect to art and how was your childhood so maybe we can start with that yeah like a, from the childhood i am having a kind of search always i want to merge with uh, something in the search i did uh, like a, so many thing electronic diploma and electrical work and i am writing a poem and uh, stories and all then i become the critic in one press and i been to uh, sahitya sammelana and all then after that i practiced bharatanatyam yoga <laughs> then i start giving performance uh, traveling with it some somewhere i am not feeling a kind of fulfilled like a, a searching for something i have to merge what i am doing every day work whatever whatever the thing i shouldn't be like a disconnected with it hate it i want to merge but i don't know what is that like then i keep searching when i come to the painting uh, like a, i used to paint in the childhood and all here and there not much and after that uh, when i am practicing the dance bharatanatyam and all i used to paint then i give to my friends for a birthday gift something like that then i start teaching also for the children then uh, somebody told i need a art college certificate something like that then i joined for the kawa it called chamarajendra visual art mm-hmm. i did my master degree bfa in bfa i got the gold medal from mysore university and the painting is not like just like a frame uh, something color form it's like a, in the nature more than that the color or healing effect is there so for me it's a kind of merging started happening with me when i do meditation and start doing the painting that painting comes then interaction me and with the color is totally different if i don't do painting just start doing the painting those time is totally different this kind of thing started coming into my life then i started weaving one by one another then i realize uh, color is not just a painting but that it's in the existence and from the ancient time we use the color that's why we represent all our chakra with the color okay so we cannot it is there with us we cannot escape it's have healing effect also not only indians egyptians romans everybody throughout the world they use color that is fascinated me very much then i started uh, creating rainbow within us uh, program there they can meditate do the painting like a free expression of color playing with the color and uh, no need to be a artist this you should be have the passion towards color that's all and after that using the singing bowls uh, for them then you take the journey in that way okay. so now right now i am working with this both uh, that healing art rainbow within us as well as with the singing bowl 
super so which one started first i mean did you become an artist first uh, or no, did I, yoga no 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 that meditation yoga those thing and all come to me first okay then i become the artist uh then i search in the art uh, in the dance this thing and all so somewhat i cannot travel further then i come to this painting that okay this is my kind okay. it bring to me we we can see the fascination of colors behind you on you <laughs> so you know when when we did the test call in the morning you know the way you looked was completely different the way the color which, which it, uh, we are seeing you now is completely different so yeah i i think you're trying what you're trying to uh, give us a message is like clearly evident we can see that very colorful uh, morning, morning when we did the test call i am in the temple that time day time and all now i am in the painting my studio i created this studio it have a like 18 feet height and i have color light i change the color and then i start doing the painting it create the layer for me like a journey for me and all so how so was in the no uh, tell me sir so how was the support from the family did, did uh, you know did your family encourage you or did you had to struggle to convince them to you know take up this particular thing as your passion as a profession uh, you know how how was that initial journey uh, initially is a kind of uh, difficult to prove myself who i am and uh, when i started proving myself who i am they have to accept it in the struggle is there in the beginning in anything it's that struggle is there so how that's a kind of test for everybody how much sure what you are doing so if you are sure what you are doing then world is following the form that is sure so that's a test in that time they don't give support i don't go there and all then finished <laughs> now so how were your initial workshops like you know gathering people or to show them what you are really doing in the initial stages you know should have been very difficult so how were those initial workshops it's like a, i used to teach in the school in the beginning 7 years i taught in a school i love small children very much and uh, because of my gold medal they want to give me the higher classes so when i take higher classes uh, i want to force them to draw paint to listen to me if you take a one one first grade second grade children at all it's like a, they are bubbling with the energy if you go free time if you sit them they are going to ask me can i draw so like that passion they have i love it so all that meditation the rainbow within us and all uh, came from there to me because uh, what happen uh, usually i see children always like a talking in the classroom it's hearing me like a birds chirping and in between the teacher shouting like a crow keep quiet keep quiet. <laughs> so i want to break this rule so i go to the classroom first we are going to sing a rhyme old macdonald had a form dance mm-hmm. shower then after that meditation then i guide them with the color you imagine the red color traveling with the red color you are playing with the red color you are breathing with the color dancing you go to your room where all the red color is there like this i choose different kind of technique and make them then when they open the eyes they are the most beautiful silent creature then they start you open up their imagination they start drawing they free will whatever comes in that time and all like that way i initiate for the thing then i realize whatever our dna is there we are carrying out throughout our life it doesn't change 
whatever we are we are the question is whether we bloom or not so i said okay let me take this chance then slowly the rainbow within us because if you take in our, our aura and all we carry that rainbow color mm-hmm. we are like a crystal clear and we carry that divine light it create that rainbow within us all the time if we have any blockage anything within us then it started into a kind of dirty color then this healing part the rainbow within us start opening up maybe they can carry from the childhood whatever the thing then we started okay let us do okay so uh, when when you took this as a career you know how how was the reaction of your friends because you know this is a very bold decision that you have taken when you know people were getting into different streams different industries different professions so you know how, how did you overcome all that and you know decided and you know uh, that yes you you will continue with this yeah you are right i start losing the friends like uh, when you are in the first grade when you go to the fifth grade we cannot carry the same friends within us so like that way i start losing the thing initially it's a emotional attachment and all then i realize no like whatever you sacrifice whatever you do it is not the promise end of the day so anyway they have to leave they are going to leave uh, let me, because uh, my search is very strong from the beginning my search is very strong even i cannot able to shake it down in that way so yeah we have some questions coming in uh, some comments uh, while we are live so i will read that but audience who are watching this if you have any questions for shri uh, akilanka uh, feel free to ask while he is here so that you know we can ask him and you know get the answers for it so we have uh, maltesh acharya who is saying uh, om namo nada brahma so uh, and he is saying namaskar <laughs> and uh, uh laura bates uh heber strop is saying om appreciation from the usa so uh, you you have fans across so that that's the thank comment. you laura she is uh, my student she is carrying legacy wow. of uh, that singing bowl and all healing she is also doing there and now So for Malthus friends, she is uh, astrologer. Oh, okay. Tell me, sir. Yeah. So for friends uh, who have not seen the work of uh, what uh, Sri Akilanka ji uh, does, so I have a small video which talks about his journey, his passion, his workshops, uh, the colors which he is talking about, how that impacts the you know people who are do- undergoing these particular workshops. So let me play the quick uh, video on this.
ओके फ्रेंड्स वी आर बैक ऑसम जर्नी बाय श्री अकिलांका एंड फ्रेंड्स वी हैव अ नाइस रिट्रीट फॉर यू सो वी हैव अ रिट्रीट यू नो व्हिच इज अ मेडिटेशन रिट्रीट विद द सिंगिंग बॉल्स सो थैंक्स अ लॉट श्री अकिलांका जी फॉर डूइंग दिस गिविंग अ लाइव डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ दिस सो वी आर ऑल सेट रेडी एंड वेरी एक्साइटेड थैंक यू with the man before how he pulsated and after listening he don't know about anything yoga meditation anything just listening this vibration 10 to 15 minutes something like that then how change it brings to him and all and now they are doing lots of research on cancer people so it's giving very positive after chemo they are losing white blood cells then this vibration uh, helping them so the color and vibration both are like it to connect it we cannot escape with it like a for example if you take a red color we tell something german tell something different language people tell something but when we see the red color what impulse it gives to us is the same it's universal language the color it touches us which country you belong to doesn't matter if you are with the trees looking that uh, fresh oxygen that color in the air automatically you are going to cool down so this kind of thing is there in the existence then i start teaching how easily it's available and how we can connect with it again we cannot escape from vibration or with the color it is with us whether we can use it or not it's different but it is there with us throughout the life even the model the tibetan technique they tell after we die we start going to see the color a luminous color we are going to see then according to our karma we choose the color and we start going towards next rebirth then they start guiding to the dead man reaching the scripture choose the right color choose this color only don't become scary then they start hearing the sound now nas also they did the research in the uh, galaxy the chanting keep on coming like somebody like in the movie we show no the god floating in the cloud chanting like that is there the nasa recorded now the om chanting is keep on coming so it is like that our life our life begins with the vibration in the womb and ends when the vibration stops within us we finish our life so it is there throughout our life how we can connect what we can do this will be really interesting part that is really magical i tell you it is really magical 
So now what we have experienced is completely indoor. Uh, I've seen one of your uh, YouTube videos where you were trying the same thing outdoor with birds chipping. So what what was the experiment all about and what, what is that reaction you've seen uh, with all your experience? It's like a, we are all like a, birds or a, animal, whatever, like a, we are with the vibration. We are all like a connected a magical vibration. We, we reverberate each other, we are all connected. So that is what Nada Prima, the ancient time our Rishis realized this whole universe is nothing but a revibration, vibration. What that vibration connects, you, me, ants, dog, cat, birds, everything is the magic of Nada Prima. If you are in the harmony, then we can feel that flow. Disharmony only causes the disease, that's all. <laughs> did, did, in your experience, did you see any, you know, complete transformation for, you know, uh, you obviously, you know, you, you were in this journey because you're seeing a lot of difference. Uh, but for a, any of your students who had a remarkable uh, transformation after, you know, experiencing this? Yeah, sure. Uh, I have a page uh, in Facebook, Temple of Singing Bowl. They give review there. You can have a look. Definitely. It's very life transformative. What they do. This one. And I do Mahamudra Mandala, the seven session, individual session, with the one-to-one -one session, with the singing bowl, placing upon their body, clearing the chakras, nadis, and all. And when they take that seven session, they change their life. That's why I call, when we change our vibration, we change our life direction. So in that regarding, I am trying to the vibration, be stuck a kind of patternized vibration. Maybe old uh, shame, jealousy, so many obstacles. We stuck and we vibrate only through the pattern. And we want to uh, achieve ourselves more than what we are. This blockage is not allowing us. So once this blockage is removed, it's totally different. Okay. So, you know, you, you're uh, also helping, uh, you know, kids who are blind, you know, a school where, you know, you have kids who are blind. They cannot see one of the sections like you know you have colors and you're playing with sound so they cannot see colors but you know how how are you trying to you know impact their lives with you know your your it's really it's really a good question like a, i'm also surprised how they are going to respond then after their experience when i heard totally amazed me first thing they are forgotten, they are blind. Usually, however, they are in the day-to-day -day life, they are subconsciously known, they are blind. So that is the big, like a heaviness within them. In this session, they totally forgot they are blind. And uh, uh, some children, they felt, uh, they told Himalaya, I don't know what the thing, Himalaya, bells, Devaloka. They told the experience and they experienced the light also, a kind of like a uh, flashing with the thing. Their faces also like a glowing. And when I work with the orphanage children also, I am really surprised. The warden teacher called them, tell them to lie down. It's just like a simple cement. Floor, no mat, no pillow, nothing comfortable shown to you. They just come, they slept, they slept like a. You, you, you have to look at their face, they are enjoying. I'm like totally surprised. We give complaint, all our comfortability. They are like enjoying. After my session, teacher want to some children to wake up. Come on, get up with them. They're gone. 
So it's really a beautiful experience for me to work with the colors and work with vibration. Seeing the people blooming is really, uh, I'm also feel like fortunate. Do, doing private sessions and group sessions, I understood. But, you know, for couples, what what, what is the impact uh, this has for a couple who is undergoing this particular session? So I, I was very curious to ask this yeah, yeah. question. Couples, like a couples, it's quite like a challenging. Uh, because uh, if they're like a husband and wife, then it's going to be like a very good tuning comes. And totally, uh, it gives the clarity what we are. We can get the clarity. And with the couple, one fellow can get the clarity. It's enough to inspire the other and all. Yeah, it's quite challenging and tricky also, the couple session. <laughs> one to one is full freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Couple is I have to ask their permission. Okay, then ask. Okay, like that. You have to play around with it. Okay. So uh, in one of the pictures that we played earlier, you know, there there was this uh, one lady, uh, you know, a foreign lady who was drawing uh, with her, uh, you know, elbows and you know there, there was a yeah. art form. So what, yeah. what was going on there? That's the rainbow within us program. After meditation, she start doing the painting. So they use whole body as the instrument to play with the color, basically. So like that, we use for some time according to the uh, problem. We choose different different colors and. Uh, work with it also. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, Shri Akhilesh ji, you know, uh, who would you recommend this, you know, uh, you know, like everybody is on a rat race, everybody is running after money, their career, you know, or, you know, with respect to gadgets, we, we're all occupied in our own way. So whom do you recommend, uh, you know, this, you know, therapy with respect to colors and you know, sound. It's, uh, I told you, you know, basically it's for everybody. Whether uh, you are a big uh, five star hotel owner or the vegetable vendor, we all need that. It is there. It's like a, no need. So, who have that intelligence, who want to take from there, they can come. So, so many people like a error. Uh, some software people they come and yoga student come and who is having a spiritual inclination mm -hmm. uh, towards it uh, like frustrated in life depressed want to change their life they want to learn the meditation not philosophy doing the meditation <laughs> practical <laughs> so if they are ready and willing definitely uh, it's life changing. So many people change. Okay. Yeah. You got recognized, uh, you know, for your initiative. So, what what's the best recognition that you, you know, you've received till date? Like, uh, I'm not getting you. Yeah, any awards and recognition that uh, you have received? Like, you you've won the gold medal from you know, uh, you know, of Mysore Mysore University, and then. Mm -hmm. You were in Hyderabad uh, where you got awarded by veteran actor uh, Nageshwar Rao. Yeah. And recently I got awarded uh, in my city uh, organization recognizing me and giving me some award, name, something like that. Uh, so that's all. And uh, when I, I have the paper, when I've been to working in the Thing, I have the paper, the testimonial, and personally, the people who felt they talk, they speak. So, this all the reward so far to, to me. Super. So, anything else you want to mention to uh, the audience before we end the show? Any any suggestions for you know people who are watching this? 
Yeah, like I, I like to tell them, uh, choose every day morning when you woke up, you choose a color. For example, today is my white color. Then throughout the day, you start searching the white color. Where all you are going to see, you live totally spectrum of life. There you start searching. Even small piece of paper fell down there, you look at. In that way, we start expansion with our self. Otherwise, what happened? We start thinking something and it holds us, we start monotonous. Keep on thinking the same thing, same thing, same thing. In that way, our cells cannot be able to bloom what it wants to bloom. So, to give that expression, you take the color and you see, and you surprise the end of the day, you see so many things in your life you never seen before. That is sure. That is more than enough. You, know? you live expanded life. Super. Thanks a lot, uh, Mr. Raklanka, for joining us on this particular show. Thanks a lot, friends. Uh, sorry about the technical glitch in between, uh, but it's an honor having you here. And friends, uh, thanks for joining in and asking your questions. So, from Sneha. Hey, thank you to uh, Sneha Prasad Doctor for uh, recognizing me for this show. And please, your smiling face inspired me to speak also. Thank you. <laughs> Much more. Thank you. Thank you, Ravi, very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, friends.